M0FXB Zygu G90 using the HSDR software. All you need are these items and you can fully control the radio either via turning the knob here or you can change the frequencies using the software. Let's just show you that. If I make that bigger, you'll see we're changing it. There, look. Like so, you can change the mode, you can change everything. So, what are we going to need to get this working? Well, luckily, one cable, we've already got it in the box. That's this cable here, and it's the cat cable. Okay? And it plugs in, if we bring up the Zygu, you'll see where it plugs in. Just here where my finger is, that's cat control. Cat control means you can change the frequency. Of course, you're going to need to download the HSDR software, which is just click it here and just go next, next, next. Of course, the link will be in the description. The other thing is you want is OmniRig. OmniRig, which looks like this, is a small piece of software that connects basically your computer to the cat connection of your radio and then you can change the frequencies and you'll see here that we've actually selected icom ic756 pro so there's a configuration to this that i will show you but omnirig is a pc software to control your radio change the frequencies you're also going to need a trs to trs cable and these are very common it's a stereo cable but you remember what i said 3.5 trs to trs cable i'll put a link in the description you probably already got one but anyway trs to trs the trs plugs into the line in on your computer so the microphone on your computer now if you haven't got the line in one the sort of pink color one that's fine buy one of these adapters if you look here on the left where i'm circling that's like a microphone connector there so the other end is the USB. You plug that into your PC. They're five pound needs. I'll put the link in the description. Plug that, the TRS to TRS there, and then plug the other end of the TRS into your IQ connector on the back of your Zygu. I'll just circle it here. You can see IQ in pink. Okay, so plug one end into that. So IQ, and that goes into the, the yellow connector here. And of course, we can adjust these just by going right click on our little speaker, open sound settings, you get this window here. It's quite a big window, isn't it? Like so, and I haven't adjusted anything yet, but we can, look, you've got the uh, output one there, and then you've got the line in, let's see that. You've got this slider that you can move up and down if it's a bit too, you know, hot, let's call it. So, once the USB cable coming from the cat connector, the sort of blue ended cable, but sometimes they are black, go to your device manager here, right click, device manager, get this window appear here, go to ports, you need to know your port number, which mine is here, COM2, right click it, then go to properties, just here, and go to port, you know what your number is, but See the 19200, you want to select that. Okay, select 19200. Click OK, so you know your number and you know the board rate, that's very important. Back at the HSDR, I have stopped it, and here it's quite small, but there's a stop and start button. I've, clicked, I've selected stop, okay, so we're going to start it when we reconnect. Now go to options couple of things here that we're going to need to set. So we start at the top. Let's have a look now. Input channel mode for RX. You want to click swap at the bottom, okay? Like so. Swap at the bottom. Then go down to cat radio for OmniRig, okay? And you need to go to... Just show that again. Options. OmniRig. Make sure you've got sync to rig on both and sync from rig if you want to control it. And look, it's already showing the ICOM IC756 Pro there. Back into options. Go to CAT to HDSDR. Go down to port and then select two because that's the one we're using. Options, TX, 
and then click mute receive audio on TX. Select options, go to CAT2 Radio OmniRig, go up to setup. Get that window open. And it just brings up OmniRig again. Remember it's Rig 1 and then you've got the 756 Pro, the 19200 COM2 and then going down you've got stop bits 1, RTS is low, DTR is low, pole in is 100 and timeout is 100. So just pause the video, just make sure that you've got that in your OmniRig settings. Options, RF front end configuration, click that and select SDR on IF output, which is controlled by OmniRig 1 here and full sync both directions. Now press start just here and it will all sync up. And then just have a play. Let me know how you get on. And um, yeah, it's nice. It is very nice to have that full screen and that we can tune it like so and go up and down with the bands. You can change mode. We've just done and then tweak around with these waterfall settings, which are above here. See this section here. You can tweak this around. You've got spectrum there, averaging here, zoom. I'm going to have a little play myself. It's going to take me a while just to, because I haven't used HSDR for about a year. Uh, and there's on the left here, you've got noise reduction as well. I think. Let's try. Uh, yeah, noise reduction here that you can adjust. Just the full benefits of an SDR, but you, you haven't had to buy an RTL. The cable is a fiver. The USB adapter is a fiver. The CAT cable, you should already have that. But again, they're £10. And if you use the Zygu a lot and you fancy every now and again having a bigger screen sorry about all the lines and that i've got a lot of led lights in this house and then we'll play and i'll come back what I'll do i'll do some live video uh, just actually using it when it's busy bye for now hit the like hit the subscribe buy my wife a coffee all the usual and uh, yeah and it was jim that messaged me about getting this working and oh yeah i have to thank ham radio tech because i completely watched that video to guide me through this process so check out his video channel uh thank you very much sorry i only remember to say it right at the end ham radio tech got some really nice videos look at that right up my street seven three all the best